Hey everybody, uh, it's been a while. <laughs> it's been a year uh, since my last post. Um, as many of you know, I had a baby last year. Um, he's now 13 months old. Um, and it's time for me to start posting more videos, um, especially for this subject, homeschool conversations. Uh, it's an important conversation, um, especially right now. So much going on um, in education. Um, I'm seeing many much more people considering homeschooling and there's various reasons as to why for some of the chatter that I'm seeing on homeschool on um, online about homeschooling um, some of it has to do with kids um, being able to learn at their own pace a lot of kids have lost learning due to the pandemic and being pulled out of school so abruptly um, some is over that kids have to wear the mask or they don't wear the mask. Um, so parents want to be able to make that decision um, for themselves. Um, a lot of it is about curriculum and what children are learning um, about history and about humanity. Um, so all kinds of interesting things going on um, with the with the schools and uh, with parents and the choices that they have. And so I've got some interesting um, topics coming up um, to be able to talk about, but I really do want to hear um, from parents, from people who are considering um, pulling their kids out of school, or parents who already have. Um, I'd like to just hear from you. What, why is it that, that you are considering this or why are you not? Um, if you are, you still have your kids in public school, but maybe you're unhappy about something. What is it that you're unhappy about? And why would you not consider homeschooling? So I just kind of want to get in on a lot of these um, fun conversations um, that are out there and offer resources. Um, one of the episodes that I have coming up um, is where I'm going to have an occupational therapist coming on talking about how to work with younger learners and using a total physical response for younger learners who need to use their whole body um, and also helping them to understand how they learn and how to work on self-regulation. Uh, for younger learners especially. So I think that's going to be uh, really fun. Um, I've also seen some great articles in um, the Homeschool Legal Defense Association magazine about homeschool and inclusion. Um, so I want to have some guests come on um, and talk about that also. Um, but just as we're starting a new school year, um, just start off um, with um, some more resources for parents. Um, and to just give hope um, to all of you who are out there. So I've missed everyone um, very much. Um, I'm happy to be back. Um, and like I said, I want um, to have interaction um, with people. Um, if, like I said, if you're skeptical about skeptical about homeschool um, or you just have questions in general, I'm definitely willing um, to take those things on. Um, if you're new to homeschool and you feel like you're drowning or you feel like you can't do this, um, I want you to come on and I want to be able to give local resources, but also statewide um, and also national resources. And certainly we can talk about political issues that are affecting um, education. We can talk about teachers unions um, and the influence that they seem to have on the schools. Um, how does that affect student achievement? That's really what I'm, I'm looking at in a lot of this. Um, and what what does the data say um, and what do parents say, you know, because ultimately that's that is what it comes down to um, is the parents and the students and their academic achievement. Um, so I'm excited uh, to be back and um, I hate it that it has been so long, but it's been a good year. Um, and as many of you know, I have three kids. Um, so I've got a middle schooler now um, and still one in elementary school. So I'm right in here with you um, as a homeschool parent. Um, we're also going to talk about and explore the role of a homeschool parent and that of being a teacher. Um, and I know myself, I came from the public school system and I've seen a lot of um, things online of teachers who are pulling their kids out of school. And there is um, almost a greater degree of difficulty. I know that sounds really strange. A lot of people think, well, you were a teacher, so you can homeschool and it should be easy for you. It's really not. Um, there's a lot that you have to unlearn um, <laughs> and you have to... Um, reconcile your role as a parent and also as an educator when that come, that's your profession where you come from um, and a lot of people think that you have to separate the two 
and you can't um and you really shouldn't um but it does t it is a bit tricky it is a bit of a balance of looking at your kids as um and their academic achievement but then also looking at them as as people um as who they're becoming in their character um and i think it's important for parents to have to be part of that because we do look at our kids um, in the long term um, and we're not just looking at grades but we're looking at them as people and shaping them um, as as young adults um, in training um, so I do want to explore more of that because I think that that's a topic I don't see talked about um, as much um, and I'd like to hear from more um, former public school educators or maybe you're currently a public school educator um, and your kids um, are homeschooled um, and, and how does that work um, for you? Um, and I also want to talk about the other resources um, out there for parents. Um, a lot of people don't want to homeschool because they think they'll be their kids only teacher and it just isn't that way. It doesn't have to be that way. Um, there's many resources. There's co-ops, um, homeschool academies, hybrids. Um, I've done tutor bartering um, <laughs> with other folks. So just getting together um, in community and sharing um, in the teaching uh, for our students. There's a lot out there. Um, it does not have to cost a lot of money. Um, I've done it for free, um, so I can talk about my experiences with that and just you know try to give people resources and try to get people inspired um, of how to make, <laughs> make these things um, happen. Um, so again, I'm Rebecca Good uh, with Homeschool Conversations. Um, I'm happy to hear questions or comments from people um, in this arena because it's one that um, I enjoy on an academic level, professional level, but as, as a mother on a personal level as well. So it just makes it all the more worthwhile. So take care and it's good to be back. Bye.